Hey guys, welcome back to South 10 Beer Reviews. I'm Tyler. Thanks again for stopping by. Appreciate it. Uh, got another beer review tonight. Um, this is going to be another one from Toppling Goliath a Brewing Company. Uh, and this is going to be their Pompeii, which is a 5.8% uh, IPA. Um, lower in ABV than I was thinking it was going to be. Um, anyway... So, this one was packaged on May 1st, so we're getting close to that three-month mark. Not quite there yet, but um, we're well on our way. So, um, I still consider this decently fresh. I'm not worried about that, really, at all. Um, cool can art. Um, it's got a volcano on there, um, you know, erupting. Um, yeah, kind of cool. Um, anyway, um, as I learned when I did, uh, King Sue, it seems as though they don't put an ABV on the can, or at least I am just not seeing it. Uh, and I don't know, maybe it's me, but two cans in a row that I'm not able to find it. I don't know. Anyway, this one says, uh, this India Pale Ale was brewed with the same attention to detail as the beautiful mosaics that graced the walls of prominent buildings in the city of Pompeii. It features mango and pineapple hop flavors with medium bodied fill to tantalize the senses. Brewed by Toppling Goliath and De in Decora, Iowa. So anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, crack this one open. Um, really like the beers that I've had from um, Toppling Goliath. I've had uh, Sue King and King Sue. And I think that's it. This will be my third beer from them. So let's go ahead and get that a little bit of water out. Um, yeah, I, I don't know really what to expect. This is a 5.8 percenter, so fairly low. Oh, my God. I can smell it from here. Holy Moses. Okay. As far as the appearance goes, it's like a uh, almost a, like a light gold or, or almost a deep straw type thing. But it's got a lot of particulate in there you might be able to see it on camera it's got a lot of giblets and uh you know whatever all that is uh that hop matter or, or yeast matter or something um so i don't know if this is considered in new england it doesn't say it just says ipa uh 50 ibus Getting a 4.07 on untapped. I'm just curious if we were to swirl this a little and add a little bit more if it's gonna. Well, it looks about the same. It's it's fairly, I think it would be, I don't wanna say clear, but uh, yeah, there you go. Look, you can see a bunch of that stuff floating around. A bunch of those giblets and, and all that. Anyway, let's go ahead and, uh, well, first off, finger ahead. It's rocky. Super rocky. I feel like it's going to dissipate really quickly. Let's go ahead and shove our nose in this thing. I actually really like Mosaic. So Mosaic single hop. Um, oh, man, are you kidding me? That's like the worst. You know, that happens to me like on a daily basis. And my wife always gets so mad at me when I'm swirling. She's always like, stop swirling. Stop swirling. You're going to spill it. And I always spill it. Um, okay, let's go ahead and shove our nose in it for real. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, big, big old, just big mosaic, just in your face mosaic. Um, definitely on that mango note, like they mentioned. Uh, it's a big mango character. Big mango, big pineapple. My nose is like kind of stopped up, but it's still pretty, pretty strong on the nose. It's got a little bit of that catty uh, dankness in there. Orange. It smells very tropical, though. I really like this. It really smells nice. So let's go ahead and try it. Cheers. Yeah. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Uh, first thing I will say, being 5.8%, 
it almost kind of strikes me as more of a pale ale. Um, you know, it, it's up to the brewery, however they want to name it. Um, you know, 5.8's getting right on the verge. I, I usually consider an IPA at like 6 or 6.2 or something like that, but it doesn't matter what I think. Um, uh, it, it just reminds me more uh, of a pale ale. But uh, it is very nice, very flavorful. Um, it's got a lot of hop punch to it. Though it does have a little bit on the it, a little bit on the um, thin side, it says medium bodied, uh, and maybe it is medium bodied, but it has a little bit of like a watered down um, uh, thing that's kind of, in my opinion, almost making it less impactful. Um, you know, it's almost more session like, but uh, that doesn't. You know, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's a crusher. You could, I could chug this whole thing right now. You dare, I'm going to do it. No, I'm not. Um, I could chug this, though, it, with no no issue. Um, it's it's big on the uh, tropical fruit, for sure. Mango is still there. Mango, pineapple, orange, maybe even some stone fruit on there. Um, I like that little... I, I don't know if everybody agrees with me or not, but ever since the first time I had Mosaic uh, hopped beer, which the first one I had that was all Mosaic was um, Mosaic Promise by Founders, and that was um, probably four or five years ago. I don't know. Um, that turned me on to Mosaic like big time, and uh, ever since then, like every time I had it, it had this like cat pee. Uh, like dankness to it and that might sound weird to somebody who's watching this who doesn't know what I'm talking about but uh, there are a lot of us out there who <laughs> enjoy uh, that smell and obviously it doesn't smell like straight up cat urine um, you know obviously that's not a great smell but it, it's that's just the best way that I can think to describe it it's got a cattiness to it and uh, I always like that um, with mosaic hops so um, definitely getting that On the palate, I'm getting a little bit more of that berry character that a lot of people get. Um, I guess you could consider it almost like a blueberry. Uh, but on the nose, I didn't really pick that up, but I am getting it a little bit on the palate. Um, so yeah, kind of to um, summarize this one, um, yeah, I, I'll go ahead and go and say it's a medium bodied. Uh, a little on the lighter side as far as um, flavor goes. It's a little bit more... Uh, watered down just a little um, little if this was a little bit higher ABV and hopped a little bit higher or, or you know a little bit more hops per uh, gallon or barrel however they want to name it uh, I think it would definitely um, benefit from that but uh, it's got a nice uh, tropical flavor to it it's got a nice citrusy flavor to it uh, it does have that catty dankness that I like um, it's got a just a light bready malt to it um, Hardly any bitterness to speak of on this one. Um, yeah, it's it's basically irrelevant. Um, yeah, it's just got a nice hot flavor to it. I enjoy it. It's a um, nice drinking beer. Uh, nice, easy drinking beer. So, yeah, guys, uh, that's my opinion on it. That's what I think about it. So, uh, guys, let me know if you have had this one, and uh, we can talk about it. So, love to know what you guys think, and, uh, yeah, we can talk about it, and, uh I'll see you guys on the next one. But until then, like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers.